Hi, I am Anna Dirkacheva. In this talk, on behalf of my team, I would like to present you our advances in satellite-based observations of glaciers flow. While some ice speed products already exist, they have special temporal limitations. In our current work, we are especially interested in observations of seasonal processes. Thus, we need the improved data. Just a few words about satellite images processing and how to get the surface speed from it. In the core of our processing, we use an algorithm previously created by other authors and widely used in the community to derive the ice speed from a pair of images. The, the method recognizes the same pieces of surface on both images that allows to calculate the displacement and then convert it into the speed as the time interval is known. The spatial resolution of images defines the limit and the precision of displacement estimation, thus the error rate on speed. That's why it's challenging to measure speed over the small time spans or over slowly flowing glaciers using moderate resolution imagery. If you want to know more about our processing workflow and outcome data, please check the cited papers. First one will present you the Sentinel-2 imagery processing to derive flow speed, and in the second one, questions of post-processing and outcome data properties are discussed. Optical Landsat 8, Optical Sentinel-2 and Radar Sentinel-1 are the medium resolution sensors with open access data policy and high pass repetitivity. Altogether, those characteristics make them widely used in different monitorings, including cryosphere topics. Classically, when satellite data are retreated, only one sensor or constellation is used. This is a case of GoLive dataset, for example, which is based on Landsat 8 imagery. However, all those sensors have specific seasonal or spatial limitations. Here you see the estimation of data quantity uh, for Greenlandic glacier that we are able to get from the mentioned sensors when they are used separately in a seasonal focus study. That means the time span between images should be short. When the optical imagery is used with previously described algorithm, we call it feature tracking. That means any surface features like stones, crevasses and so on should be presented. If the surface is very smooth, like in land of the ice sheet, no distinguished feature can be tracked anymore. The polar night and clouds also diminish the data availability. If the radar imagery is taken, like Sentinel-1, algorithm doesn't need the features, but the stable reflectance. Thus, it works very well over cold and even very flat area but fails during the melt season due to the water presence and the surface. Additionally, it doesn't need sunlight, so it's not affected by polar night, but the program of Greenlandic observations is focused on the coastal zone. To get the most possible time density and special coverage of data for a seasonal-oriented study, we rely on joining of all three constellations. Here is an example of what we can get when combination of sensors is used. This is a fast-flowing Peterman glacier located in the far north of Greenland. On the top there are maps of speed seasonal behavior with two weeks time steps. Absolute speed on the left and the deviation from the annual mean on the right. On the bottom there is a time speed series. Thanks to the high temporal resolution of our final data, the seasonal dynamics can be widely investigated in time and space. Here is another example. While previously shown Peterman Glacier is a fast-flowing case, Russell Glacier belongs to the slowly flowing sector. Even here, the data properties, including speed error rate, allows the detailed investigation of seasonal processes. It can be also noted that the general data quality is sufficient to use it as input in the models. For example, we use the speed maps from the left side in inverse modeling of glaciers' basal conditions to investigate the seasonal changes in it as well. 
Thank you for your attention to my short presentation. If you are interested to know more or have questions, please contact me. Bye.